one of the things I guess that that helped also was so for spinning on a bit to All Stars One, which we kind of talked about a little bit earlier, which I I am fascinated by. Um, they did it. Yeah. They cast it by effectively like fan vote, and if I'm not mistaken, you were really high up. Maybe you were second on the list in terms of the fan votes, I believe. Well, all right. If we want the real tea on it all, because this is a show, right? Um, I can tell you, uh, I was number one in the vote for almost the entire run of it. And I didn't even know there was a vote. We were doing, we did like these drag race cruises and I was in uh, Sharon Needles in Alaska's room uh, because I actually helped shoot Alaska's audition video for season five. So I was like, hey, I have a, ca- like, I can shoot, I can help you, like, I'll do it. So we're there and we had the, all had the same manager at the time. And um, he had called the room and he was talking to Sharon and he said, they're doing this vote online for like all stars and who does, who needs to be on it. And she's like, you're first, you're first in this, like you're first in this vote. And I went, what? Huh? Huh?" And I was first for a very long time. And then it was when season four was airing. And when Sharon got mega popular, she, she took, she took over. She, she moved over into the first place position. Uh, But, and I'll say it because people were mean to me about it, but, um, the thing is that I was already contacted by them at some point and I was already on the show that I had to say that, you know, we just have to go with these votes. And, and but I, 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 I was already cast on the show without the vote. But then they had Sharon make this video that said, oh, I'm going to pass it off to Pandora. And I was like, that sounds horrible. But it sounds like that's the only reason I made it on the show when I already know I'm on the show. Like, couldn't you just say, I'm not going, I'm going to step out because I just won. And I was really mad because I was like, well, now it's, you know how this, this is going to look for me. Like, it's just like, oh, well, you should be very grateful because Sharon like, gave me the spot. That's not how television works. That's not how television works. That's not how voting works. That's not how anything works. Like, it's just like, but then I think, It was very flattering for people to be voting and voting for me. Like like I was in that position for so long and I was very, very flattered and thankful that people were still mad and heated about my elimination that that they would vote me on. And and then I wish I had not even gone on the show. Well, I mean, like you said, I, I I wasn't surprised when you got cast on All Stars One because I think you were really memorable in your season and you were really like the the snatch game. I think helped a lot, but also you were really funny and you were very likable. I thought so. I wasn't surprised when, but I did think when when they kind of phrased it in like, "Oh, I'm passing it off to Pandora." I was like, "Well, Pandora deserved it anyway," but that's a separate story. Um, yeah, no, I, I was I was I was really I was really mad about that. And it's not like not not mad at her. I was just like, that's what they had her say. I just was like, yeah, yeah, no, not happy. (laughs) No, I can understand. And um, so going on to All Stars 1, you kind of said you kind of regret doing it a little bit. I actually wanted to ask about this because I feel like All Stars 1 has a really (laughs) weird reputation among fans because a lot of I think a lot of people hate it for because of the pairs and the teams or whatever you call it, but they liked the actual cast. Like, I thought it was an incredible cast. Everyone was really talented, like so much drama, so much like intrigue, but the teams was a weird thing. What was your thoughts on that? Cause obviously you were paired with Mimi. I mean, a hundred percent, it was an amazing cast. I mean, Mimi was a bit of a shocker, uh, but they needed somebody to go on the cast that was, a surprise like oh a wild card I guess um I had worked with Mimi before I'm good she can she's a little much but like I was like I'm not it wasn't her like I'm not it was just um (laughs) when it came down to being pairs I was like okay she was like 11th place or something had a really controversial exit 
uh, they clearly never let me win a maxi challenge. I'm com- like, am I coming back as an underdog? <clears throat> I, cause I didn't want to come, like, I was like, I'm not coming back as an underdog. I'm coming back as somebody that the fans really liked and really wanted me here. And when we got paired together, it was just that it just was crushing. Cause I was like, we're the underdog team. We're the team that is, yeah, we're gonna have to really fight for it. And uh, um, Mimi is not always the easiest person to work with, but I felt like we, we can do this, we, can, we got it. And um, we had known each other before, like we had worked together. So I was like, I, I can get it. I just, it was more the, the underdog thing where I felt like we weren't gonna get a fair chance. I also knew there was only six episodes so I was like, as soon as all these queens walked out, I was like, some shit's going down and I don't know what's happening, but something's going down. Um, I will say that when I did All Star 6, RuPaul said to me, we will never do teams again. Uh, and I think I realized, there, because I don't think that it really, it, it was unfair for us to uh, get all like 18, 17 outfits together, spend this money, um, and then they didn't even use most of those outfits because it's all team and all pairing. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was kind of, it was, it, it uh, clearly, you watch it, uh, my spirit and my, like I, I was done. <laughs> like I literally was like, and I, I wanted to leave. Like I literally was like, I'm going to, when we went back to the hotel that night, I was like, I'm, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go. I just don't feel like this is fair. And, um, and again, the biggest thing with Mimi was just her controversial exit and uh, that, that, you know, it wasn't that I didn't think we could work together. It, w- it was more that, like, I felt like we were at an unfair advantage from the beginning. She was trying to do my makeup and uh, just was not listening. <laughs> and so I, I took makeup and I went into the bathroom and, and put some on in the stall because I didn't know where the cameras were. If, if they had, I don't know if they were watching because there was a rule about you had to do each other's makeup. And I'm in the toilet dispenser in looking at it because it's silver, trying to like fix my lips and do things because she did a really bad job, a really bad job with my makeup. When I walked by Chad and Chanel, they went like this. <laughs> so it was, it was bad. And then unfortunately that's when RuPaul came over and, and talked to us and I was, and I, I, I said the one thing I really do, I regret saying, I regret my mood at that point for sure. And I said, I'm glutton for punishment. And I was like, I, I do, I, I, because I didn't, I didn't think about how that would make Mimi feel. And then, but we did talk about it. Also, I've never really fully watched it except when we had the premiere party and I got drunk. <laughs> we had little like handlers that were around us. And every, every time I said something bitchy, I, I was like, I need a shot. So clearly I was drunk. Uh, but yeah, I was just like, this is a lot. This is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, I, 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 there's a couple, of, I regret that. And I regret saying if I was alone, I would have won because I was also very heated and mad. And they, they were coaxing me to say it. And I said it. And, uh, yeah, in hindsight, it's like, I just looks, I just, I'm so, 